right hand side of the uh, TV screen there big ground the only trouble he's going to have in this race is going a little bit wide but Kent DeSormo's got to love the position he's got right now he's laying about sixth right now nobody in his way no dirt in his face that was one of the big concerns about this horse is whether he could handle getting dirt in his face well they took that element clear out of it ease into this first turn in the perfect situation just cruising right now it's a matter of just waiting for Kent DeSormo. Can you feel uh, the strength of your horse underneath you and say, I've got so much horse, I don't care if I'm a little wide. Oh, absolutely. You know, crossing underneath the finish line for the first time, going under these twin spires, what your chances are going to be. There's a ton of horse underneath Kent DeSormo right now. You can see that he's got his, his feet in front of him, actually restraining this horse, saying, no, 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 not yet. Let's wait until we straighten up into the stretch. Let's save all of this energy, keeping him well out off of the rails. And out of trouble. And right? the reason for that is he's keeping this horse relaxed. The closer you put a thoroughbred that's had uh, works in the morning towards the inner rail, the more they want to pull, the faster they want to go. He's keeping this horse nice, relaxed out there, just as if it was a morning workout for him as they enter the far turn. And here he is, and about now, uh, Kent uh, chirps to him, and uh, as you said, it took him a, a, a minute or two, a stride or two, to, to really get rolling, but once he did, look out. First time on this racetrack uh, in the afternoon, and did take him a couple of strides, but man, when he did hit that stride, he got right up to half a length off the lead in about four or five strides after that. And look at the acceleration here coming off of the turn. It's tough to see. This is a great shot we have right here because it shows the actual acceleration coming off there. It's tough to feel that unless you're see, uh, sitting on a horse's back. That shows it pretty good right there. And that acceleration was something that you don't find in many racehorses. And there he goes, headed to the finish line and an overwhelming victory in the Kentucky Derby. Big Brown.